Hello everybody, this is Paul, and today I'm just going to continue on what I talked about last time, what is a logarithm, and this is the second part, so if you haven't seen the first part, go ahead and look up what is a logarithm on my channel, and uh, you can watch the first part, but I'm just going to give you some more examples on what logarithms are so that you can understand what you're working with, and after this video I'll teach you how to solve logarithms an easier way. But I just want you to understand them, so let's go ahead and do a few examples here. Let's say that the log base 3, 27, and that equals something. So the last, my last video I explained to think of a logarithm as a scorpion. And it has a tail that starts at the base. And it comes and it wraps around the answer. And then the stinger comes back to the argument. And what this means is you take the base, raise it to some power, we'll just call this we'll just call this x for now since we don't know what it is. So the base raised to the x power is equal to 27. So what is x? 3 raised to some power equals 27. So it turns out that 3 raised to the third power is simply 3 multiplied by itself 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9 times another 3 equals 27. So 3 to the third power equals 27. So our x and our 3 are the same. 3 to something, that something is x, x equals 3, equals 27. So in this case, log base 3 of 27 is equal to 3 since 3 raised to the third power equals 27. So let's try one more example here. What if we had log base 4 of 16? And that's equal to some number. Well, we just take 4 raised to some power equals 16. 4 raised to the x equals 16. So 4 times 4 equals 16. So you had to multiply 4 by itself two times. 4 times 4 equals 4 squared equals 16. So 4 raised to the x power, which would be 2 in this case, equals 16 following the scorpion tail. So in this case, log base 4 of 16 equals 2. So I haven't really showed you how to solve these yet. I'll be doing that in a few more lessons. But like I said, this, this video is just to kind of get the point across of what it is we're working with here. So if you can't see the solution, like I'm showing you right away, if you, if you don't immediately see that 4 squared equals 16, don't worry, because there is another method to go about solving this. But the point of this video is just to help you understand what you're working with when you have a logarithm. So just to let it sink in, I'll do one more example. And then I'll move on and do something else with logarithms. So for the last example, we have log base 2 of 32 equals some number. So we're going to draw the scorpion tail again, starting at the base 2, 2 raised to the x power, 2 to the x is equal to 32. So 2 multiplied by itself how many times? x times equals 32. Well. 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8, times another 2 is 16, times another 2 equals 32. So 2 multiplied by itself 5 times equals 32. So in this case, our x is equal to 5, because it took 2 multiplied by itself 5 times to equal 32. So 2 to the 5th equals 32. And another way to think about that is log base 2 
of 32 equals 5. 2 raised to the fifth power equals 32, following the scorpion tail. 2 raised to the fifth power equals 32. So, like I said, in a few more videos, I'll show you ways that you can solve this. In, in this method that I showed you, you kind of have to already have a little bit of understanding of 2 raised to what power is going to give you the answer. But there are ways to solve this so that you can actually do some algebra and get x equals 5. And I can show you that in a few videos, but for now, I just wanted to let you um, kind of get used to logarithms and what they what's going on with logarithms and how they work. So anyway, stay tuned for more videos and I'll explain logarithms in more details and I'll teach you a few tricks to make it easier for you to solve these types of the problems. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.